Now, Big Steve was just a few paces ahead of me and he passed up on this amazing Spider-Man figurine. And it just goes to show you, you snooze, you lose. You gotta take it when you see it. Yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, it's awesome, I like that. We are off to a new boot sale in Runcorn. It's a car park undercover. And we've got friends coming with us. We're going with Steve and Lana. I'm gonna point out that this is my first car boot I've been to, I think, all year, pretty much. And we've just done a 40 minute drive and it's only 20 past seven. So I got up super early for this. And I'm wearing an autumnal outfit. Oh God. <laughs> and it's freaking 16 degrees. Afternoon. All right, it's warm, isn't it? Takes. Let's not even go there. Here they are. What, you're not cold, are you? No, I'm not cold after I wore my autumnal outfit. <laughs> <laughs> We've got movie chats. We've got life in the first lane. Is the life in the first lane this morning? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That way. Hey. Everyone's already scattered. We've all scattered, haven't we? <coughs> How much is this one, please? That's 25. 25. How much is that, please? Two quid. Two quid. I'll take it, thank you. Okay. Got to just get a bag out. Oh yeah. I want ten pounds, but maybe enough for if you want. Okay. How much are your mentos? Oh, How much? Pound for them all? Pound for two. Pound for two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Here you go. Thank you. Cheers. You're not interested in it? No, thank no. you. Thanks, sir. Oh, nice. With all the figures. That's good. Let's have a look. How much? 10 quid. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, well, say 10 quid. It was 15 quid for the Ghostbusters bike as well with the figure. Interesting. And the uh, full set of real Ghostbusters figures. That's good. 15 quid. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. That's it. Your bag's full now. Well, well I'm just buying stuff and putting stuff in here as well. A bit discolored. Yeah, I don't know if it's because he's like old. Mm. Looks a bit off colour, doesn't it?
think a lot of them are Primark. The Harry Potter stuff, yeah. So you just gotta be careful. What have you got on this one? Five. Five. You got any more? Is it just that one? Just that one, mate. Ah, oh, new groove. That means. How much is that one? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. It's a limited edition. Yeah, it's one. nice, isn't it? <laughs> Really nice. Sorry to interrupt you. Nice to meet you, mate. Oh, how are you? You're right. What you do, lad? What's your name? Andy. Andy. Uh, I'm, I'm watching on YouTube, but I've not got a shot. Oh, okay. Though, like no that. problem. Well, nice to see you. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'll take this one, thank you. Cheers. Two quid, there you go. Cheers, Thank, Thank you. you, cheers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've never worn this, so eight pounds. Eight. 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 Can you get that in your bag, babe? Mm -hmm. How much is this? Oh. I'll take it. Let's see what else you got first. We've got a couple of, a couple of other board games up there. Okay, I'll have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'll just take that one, thank you. Sorry. How much are these, please? 50 pounds a lot for a set. How much? 50 pounds. 50 pounds. It's 20 pounds on eBay. Yeah. How much is that one, please? I'll take that, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How are you on change? Have you got some notes? I've got a 20. And with what? Oh, yeah. 20, yeah. 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 All right, yeah. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Cheers. How much is that one? I'll take that, thank you.
There you go. Thanks, mate. your boots please oh sorry uh, 20. 20. Okay. yeah brand new aren't they that one hmm. how much is that one please Pound. take it bloody plushies galore today Anything else? What about your men in black? Yeah, they speak with you for five. Okay. Is that this? Mm, for those. That's six quid out, yeah? Banshee. What's Banshee? Complete first season. Yeah. There you go. Cheers, Paul. Thank you, mate. Cheers. M2 cars. Alien Predator. How much is that one, mate? Five that. Maybe you can see it where it can be pressed. It's nice. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take that. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it's awesome now. I like that. You got a place in your bag. Choose your car. That's a fire. I'll do it for three quid if you want. You can just go on then. Bundle. 
Have you got 15 quid? Yeah. Nice one. Tommy's. Cheers. I used to have a little star scout. Hey? I used to have a little star scout. Yeah, my nephew's in his 30s now, but I remember, <laughs> I remember, yeah, I remember him having one and going on like the little... Well, if you want it, two quid. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That is cool, isn't it? Kyle, Kyle used yeah. to love it. She took him to one of them superimposed things where he dressed up and it looked like he was in the um, in the captain's chair on the main deck. As it says, it just breaks up. It's missing something. Don't like it. No, but it's like a gap behind him. If it's missing his pants. Maybe. We'll just stick with these, thank you. Right. Cheers, thanks. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You want a tenner a piece on these? Oh, two pounds. Oh, you got some more? films on VHS apparently go well. They, they do, yeah. What have you got in your trainer? Uh, 15 mil. 15 mil. They do still go for like 40 Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably where, they, where it is. So I'll leave one out for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What, what is it? Palladium. I don't know what palladium is. Look at themselves, but they're a bit thick. Oh, okay. Thinking about it, there's a cafe in here, you know. Yeah? How much is that one, mate? Yeah, you know how I spill the food? Shall I do it? Yeah. Five of it. She knows those. <laughs> Can you take four on it? I'll take that one. Hey guys, we are back from a Runcorn car boot sale, which is an undercover car boot in a car park. Actually, it was pretty good. Really enjoyed it. Um, very, very busy. Um, I'll possibly get there a little bit earlier next time because it was the first time we went. So I didn't really know how the land lies with parking and entrance and stuff like that. But um, yeah, enjoyed it. And um, it's good to have an option when it's wet um, once a month. So really good. I will definitely be going back. We'll probably go back with Steve and Lana as well because it's on route. Um, I know Steve got some good stuff. He got some Ghostbusters, um, Playmobil stuff. He got some. He got a Jurassic Park um, car and figures. Uh, so yeah, he was snaffling up all the stuff before I was getting there. If you want to take a look at what Steve actually got from the boot sale, here's his video. Just go and search for that one. Cheeky bugger. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you what I picked up right now. Crikey, it's been a busy week of sourcing. As you can see, I've got all this stuff to sort out. But this is what I'm focusing on right now. Uh, this is what I picked up at Runcorn Car Boot today. Let's start off with this bad boy. Look at this. Oh, the lighting's really poor in here at the minute, isn't it? There we go. Let's go there. Look at this. Jurassic Park 3. I'm not sure what it's meant to be. I put a battery in it and he... Look at that. That's it though. Am I missing something, guys? Let me know if you know what that is because it cost me £2. I can't find anything like it on eBay. I'm going to have to do a Google image search on that. I've not done it yet. Um, some kind of sticker on the back there that's been removed, which is a shame, but it's still cool because when are we going to see that? 
I'm never going to find one of these again. That's the Spinosaurus, by the way. That's my favourite dinosaur from the series. Um, I don't know the value on it, to be honest. Let's have a look at some uh, VHSs. Yes, I do pick up VHS now and again. Um, mainly if it's horror or or vintage retro kids TV. Um, this one's not worth much. Um, this may be five to ten pound. Deadly Vengeance. This is weird. Time of the Apes. I actually read that as Arcs, but when you look at the side, Apes. Time of the Apes. It's an eighteen. Looks very interesting indeed. Bit dusty. Um, that's worth maybe fifteen quid. Um, Dream No Evil. See, these are all weird sort of horror stuff. Look at that. Um, maybe 15 quid or so. The Dark Power. Again, possibly around the £15 mark. The Eight Masters, some sort of Kung Fu stuff. Um, maybe a tenner on that one. And Confessions of a Window Cleaner. Okay. Um, and maybe a tenner on that one. I paid a total of £5 for all of those. It was a good deal, I think looking at the prices as i say it is worth looking out for some vhs let me show you this um big steve and lana picked this up for us um it is going to be a duck race prize for our monday night show it's a cute little pottery duck um nice nice thank you guys that's much appreciated go and check out movie chats on youtube and also life in the first lane which is their other channel so, yeah, cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Duck races on a Monday night on this channel. Come and subscribe. Um, I've got two iP... Oh, a one pound. I needed an extra tape measure. That was a quid. Um, I got these two from two different stalls. Um, it's an old iPod... Uh, iPad dock. It's the 30-pin ones. Um, original Apple item. And it cost me two pound. I'm not really sure the value of it, but what I'm probably going to do is stick it with this because this is an iPad 3. And I thought it might be worth a little bit more than what they are going for. I mean, it has got the old connector on it, um, but it's it's all been reset. Hopefully factory settings and hopefully they said um, the iCloud thing's been reset and stuff. So it looks in good nick under there. Pay £15 for the iPad 3, £2 for the dock. Um, I think at the moment the prices on eBay for the iPad 3 are somewhere between 30 and 50 pound. So I'm not I don't think I'm going to lose on it, but not as much profit as I would have probably liked for the effort and the fees and everything that come out of it. So maybe I'll get about 40 out of that. I might throw that in with it or I might list it separately for sort of maybe 15 quid, but there are some solds of these very very low on auctions like two two to five pound i don't know i'm not sure on that one yet anyway let's move on because i've got something really cool here big steve actually passed up on picking this up for some bizarre reason because this is cool i thought he'd have snapped this up straight away but he walked past he needed to go get permission from lana and by the time he'd come back i bought it so you can take it from me spider-man It's actually a coin, uh, a money box coin thing. So you put your coin in there. I guess it makes a sound. It's got the bottom there. It cost me £5. I think it's worth uh, maybe 20 to 25 ish Now, um, I also got two boxed Men in Black 2 figures. These were £5 for the pair. Uh, you don't really see these anywhere, do you? Men in Black 2. And the boxes are a little bit battered, but not too bad. I paid £5 for the pair. I think they're worth around £20 each. Um, something unusual. So this Chinese um, Thomas and Friends. Uh, Yong Bao. And what did I do? I got a deal on these. I wasn't going to bother, to be honest with you. Um, but he did do me a price, a little bundle price. So he gave me those two Thomases. And let me try and find it. Sorry about the lighting in here today. I've not set up my lights, so I'm, I'm, I'm working off 
window light, natural light, and it's obviously crap. Um, League of Legends Z. So it gave me the Z and the two tank Thomas the Tanks, not tanks. Uh, these Yang Bao's uh, for five quid. So around sort of one pound fifty each item. So that's not bad, is it? Is that right? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Around one fifty each item. Um, yeah, value on this one, I'm not sure at the moment. It probably won't be loads. It may be about £15, something like that. Um, let's put that down somewhere. And the value on these two is all over the show. Uh, but if I'm lucky, I could get maybe £20-25 on those. Even though the boxes are damaged, they've not been opened. So that might go in my favour. Uh, what else did I pick up today? That's cool. Oh, we've got a nice Halloween prize for the duck race coming up on the channel. Don't forget, guys, you need to subscribe to the channel and you need to come visit us on a Monday night at 8pm when we do our live shows. Loads of giveaways. That little Halloween gift box is going to be given away along with loads of other stuff. Um, I picked this up for £3. It's a Coca-Cola um, car thing. I've got quite a few of these M2 um, cars, die-cast things, and I'm thinking about £20 on that. It cost me three. Let's move over to a little bit of clothing here. I've got a St. Helens jersey or shirt, as we tend to say in the UK. Quite a nice shirt, really, to be honest. It cost £5. And um, the guy actually recognised me on the stall um, from years ago when I bought something off in at Chalford Car Boot Sale. Um, of all places, not been there for ages, but yeah, he recognised me, but uh, won't budge on five pound. Uh, that's fine. I think it's worth about twenty pound on eBay. I was hoping it might be worth a bit more, but twenty pounds fine. Um, a fat face coat, uh, apparently not worn much at all, and to be fair, it looks pretty good. Um, it's a ladies' coat, size twelve. Um, it we're in coming into the right season for coats. I've sold quite a few recently. I paid six pound for Fat Face, and I think it's going to be worth about thirty. And also, I picked up a super dry um, coat. It's got all this nice fleecy, warm fleecy stuff inside. It's a kind of like a parka, if you can see there, a bit of a parka type thing. Uh, Five pound cost. I'm going to put sort of thirty pound on it as well. Um, now let's pick this up because Lana found this for me. Uh, let's get the light better again. Sorry. Um, Lana picked this up for me. Now, if you watch the channel or follow it in any way, um, you'll know about Penguin Gate, which occurred at a boot sale uh, a couple of years back down in Devon, where I was accused of stealing, accused of stealing, for Christ's sake, a penguin from a stall. Obviously, I didn't steal. But if you want to go watch that uh, highly amusing video, whereby I was accused of theft, um, and see what the outcome was, then go find it. I might pin it uh, at the top now, or I might pin it at the end of the, the video. Uh, but uh, yeah, Penguin Gate. Thank you, Lana. And she, I know she paid £3 for this, so it's a nice-looking figurine. So that's cool. Um, lots of gifts. What about this Micro Machines gasoline can um, little toy set? I'll try and open one side for you. But uh, this cost me one pound. There's no way I can. Whoops! It's so hard to get open. I can't not pick up a micro micro machines set for a pound. I used to collect micro machines. Oh, that's probably the wrong side to open. Whoops! I've broke it now. Oh balls! Um, I told you it's difficult to open this. Let's do this side. There we go. That's better. Um, that's it. Uh, one pound paid and um, prices vary from sort of 15 to sort of 30 35 so may i might be lucky and get 30 for it maybe because it's not in bad order as long as i can put this back on it probably just pops off to be honest and balls. um i got some plushes you can never have a car boot chris hall without some plush toys um we've got this um Minnie Mouse, 50p. I'm not sure the value of it. I'm probably just going to whatnot it. I'm going to clean that up a little bit and put it on whatnot, probably. Look at this. Back to the Future, Martin McFly, 35th anniversary toy. 
I think it's from, looking at this Sega on the back, it's possibly one that you get out of a grab machine or something like that. But that's neat, isn't it? That was a pound. And uh, this little baby Yoda, or whatever his real name is, can't remember because I'm not a Star Wars fan, cost me one pound as well. That'll probably go for whatnot. But there's some cool stuff there. That is everything. That's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, a boot sale video from somewhere we've never been to before. We'll definitely go again. In the meantime, if you want to carry on following the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll put up here somewhere a couple of links, including the Penguin Gate video, if you want to go and watch it. If you've never seen that, it's worth a watch. There is a part one and a part two, but I'll bang part one up there. If you want to watch part two, you can do, you can find it. Um, anyway, we'll see you soon. Take care. Laters.